So last night when my last video that I put out yesterday was premiering, Queen was announced. Let's talk. First of all, let's talk about the figure. The figure, I think in general, looks great. And one thing I'll say, is it me or is the skin seem a little bit too saturated in color? I'm not complaining, I actually like the look, but I feel like it was, he was like a more paler purple, at least in the anime. Maybe this is the manga colors, I'll have to see and post when I'm editing this video, but... One gripe I've heard is that, you know, well not even I've heard, but... I figured people would have, is that it's on a 2.0 mode. I was wondering, why is it on a 2.0 mode? And... Uh, honestly, I can't even think of a good reason. If Vegeta would be on a 2.0 mode, why wouldn't this be on a 2.0 mode, you know? Now, I think I care a little bit less about this being on a 2.0 mode or 2.5-esque mode. Only because it's Kui, you know? <laughs> Not the, I wasn't really super anti for the Kui. I think it's cool to have him because he's a different character than what we usually get, you know? A video I talked about yesterday, right? Getting a bunch of Vegetas and Gokus and, you know, a bunch of the main characters, which is to be expected. But, you know, it's always, it's a nice change of pace. Now, the facial expressions, this is what I mean by when Tamashi knows that they can't necessarily milk a character, the facial expressions are always coincidentally on point. Let's look through the pictures. These facial expressions are amazing. This is what I remember this uh, facial expression from the Tenkaichi games. Lord Frieza! And then, and then he sneak attack you. His bitch ass. But overall, yeah, this figure looks awesome. Yo, look at that dookie face! <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for them to put a, uh, one of these uh, exploding slash about to be vaporized expressions with these characters. This is like his best expression. This is awesome. This is fantastic. I can't hype it up enough. Excellent expression because that's exactly like how he looked so this is what I mean about Tamashi being able to you know Give us these facial expressions with pinpoint accuracy. It's just a matter of hey I need to sell you another Goku, which is why or another Vegeta, which is or another Gohan, which is why you know We get uh, so many of the figure they need to always sell us a, another of the main character But they can't keep on selling us a bunch of wheeze, right? This is a good example of that. Now also, as to be expected nowadays, he comes with parts for the up the Vegeta figure. So now, <laughs> people are in a position where it's like, damn. Well, I, if I get Kui, I might as well get Vegeta type uh, situation. And it looks good. What can I say? Well, Vegeta in that pose definitely looks good. Now, the price, as you can see, $60. It is what it is. Oh, it's a premium Bandai exclusive. Well, what do you know? <laughs> like, what are you going to do, you know, at this point? No, nah, I've made enough videos complaining about that. Talking about that and whatnot. Pre-orders open t tomorrow at 3 a.m. Oh, 3 a.m. my time. Wow. So, I'm not staying up that late for Quito. He'll probably be in stock for a long time to come. So, uh, it won't be hard to get a hold of him. Quito from the freezer side, what are they telling us? Main body. Interchangeable hand, hand left, right times two types. Interchangeable head parts times four. Interchangeable scatter types times two. Wait, only you don't get many hands, hmm? I guess interchangeable scatter two types for the usual face and for the frightened face. Vegeta face expression part. Vegeta right hand parts. All right. And I could, you can expect them to be about Goku's sight, I'm assuming. But this thing is awesome. Now, let's get down to the discussion part of the video. You know, I'm saying it's awesome. Specifically for the people that are always worried, oh my goodness, they're not going to make whatever movie character or insert Kid Boo here. Of course they'll make it. If they made Kui, everything is on the table. And I saw a comment like that on my most recent video. I didn't respond to it yet as the, as I'm saying it, but if they made this, anything is on the table. It's Kree. So everything, anything and everything else is on the table. Everything that appear, I'll say, like, I remember I was saying, they'll probably make that movie Android. Some people were like, ah, I doubt it. Oh, they'll make Bojack. Ah, I doubt it. What do you, why wouldn't they? It's money in their pocket. They made Kree. Anything is on the table. That's why this is one of the best reveals. Just to show people, hey, 
I know we didn't get to what we, you know, the, the characters with the cool factor, you know? We didn't get to the Super Vegeta. We didn't get to the uh, Grade 3 Trunks or Ultra, Ultra Trunks. We didn't get to our 2.0 Cell, our, our Redone Cell. We didn't get to our uh, 3.0 Design Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You know, we didn't get to the, you know, the cool stuff with the cool factor to it. But if I'm saying that to say, once again, I'm reiterating it so y'all understand. If this is on the table, any, any and everything else is on the table. Think about it. Like, we got to pay attention to the survey, see what's on Tamashi's mind to be made. Clearly, like, when we saw that survey, that last survey that they did, we've seen mad stuff that people wanted on that survey. Nine times out of ten, they're trying to just see what has the highest demand. Most likely, all the stuff on the survey will probably get made at some point. And it's just a matter of time, which I know us as fans in general can be very impatient about but yeah quick uh you're gonna probably get spopovich yakon all those guys uh yamu and the boost cycle when we get to that when we get to that point now i know it's been kind of a drag because all right how many people want quick like i said it, there is that contingency of people that's like yo we rounding out the collection you know and you're not probably for a long time to come you're not gonna get any better Quee figure than this for a long time to come unless in the distant future when we like old people they come out with a new and improved SH figure arts line or another company gets a hold of Dragon Ball and then Tamashi's gonna have to compete with them you know but this is a amazing reveal man now more immediately you know I put it up on the screen somewhere but it's that picture of where they have the Namek Saga characters I think this was shown off by Tamashi that uh, had yet to be made at the time, but or at least maybe one or two of the characters, but slowly we're checking off characters off the list. Now, I don't have the picture right in front of me, but when I edit the video, you'll see the picture on the screen. But it had, what, third form Frieza, second form Frieza, it had Nail, it had Vegeta in the old school armor, that's, well, lore-wise, it's old, the old armor. They had uh, Kui, and they had Monster Zarbon. And we could add on to that, 100% Frieza because when they were uh, in the articles about the new Goku, Super Saiyan Goku that's coming out, they was like, you can replicate epic bottles with the full power Frieza. If that wasn't confirming it, I don't know what was, you know? So, like I said, man, this is a this is a great thing to be hype about. This is an amazing reveal, just off the strength of Queen being made, <laughs> fodder character, anybody could be made. I wouldn't be surprised if they, at some point, did some army building stuff. Also, before I forget, I almost forgot with this video. Since it seems like we're delving, we're backpedaling just a little bit with the Freezer stuff, and I'm not going more into the Android stuff. I mean, we're still getting sprinkles of Android stuff here. Don't get me wrong, but I want to say what this implication is, though. Since they're releasing this Vegeta, don't be surprised if we get a re-release of the Genyu Force. Now, I think best way for them to not even the best way for them to do it because the best way for them to do it would be to have them be general releases but i think the way that they are going to do it is they'll be san diego comic-con exclusives because now we have a precedence for things that were previously premium bandai exclusive going to a potential comic-con exclusive and the way we know about that is you know the raditz that came out that was re-released raditz was originally a premium bandai exclusive uh this past sdcc he was a uh, exclusive there and of course i'm gonna throw this in there when i was talking to my good man sayoris he's like yo don't be surprised if they they put guldo out there at, but this time make them articulate now i know people will be pissed off at that but guess what people still gonna buy it too now <laughs> so you know so it's often a lot of you know angriness about you know premium bandai stuff all stuff being exclusive but it's a it's a level of well people gonna buy it so the people that's buying it is outweighing the people that's complaining about it even if it's they we seem more vocal you know but with all that being said i think that about does it this was a rather simple video but I think this is, like I said, great news, great news. Before I ramble on anymore, 
This has been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic. Have a blessed day.